carry you in today. Not as far west as the end of the Dingle Peninsula, but I'm at Inch Beach, parked up at Inch Beach, and going doing Brickany at least. And I think Mealing Hill is there as well. Look at it today, you wouldn't, uh, <laughs> it's like a summer's day. Behind me is Emla, I think is how it's pronounced. Again, apologies to the locals, and <laughs> I know I'm getting all my pronunciations wrong. And um, so you have Moan Law, and, and that Moan Law Ridge is behind that. And um, I'm at the top notes, is in her name, Spot House, the small cairn here. And you can see actual Brickany from here. So I've been wondering what I've been looking at all along. <laughs> I'm not familiar with this area at all. This is Brickany. I'm um, currently hiding behind one of the cairns because the wind is, as usual, a bit brutal. I'm always saying it's windy and wet, and uh, it sure is windy again at the moment. But look, this is to be expected to um, the Dingle Peninsula start in November. Um, the cairns up here are interesting. Uh, they like their cairns in the Dingle Peninsula, <laughs> that's for sure. I didn't see anything online about them before I came up here, but like the last day, I'll be going looking at uh, trying to find more stuff online about it. The views here are pretty good, there, um, but it is fairly hazy at the moment. So um, I'll spin you around there, hopefully, and be able to point out a few different things you can see from the top of Brickney. So hopefully this is coming out now. So over here, Anaskal Lake. You have Knock Mother Lane just to the left of it, and then over to the right of it, you have um, Drummer Valley. The ridge there, more cairns over there. There are just three, I think, three sets of them. They're very impressive. Um, being a ski is in the cloud. I'm glad when I was coming back, it was clear and I was thinking of doing it. I'm kind of glad now I didn't bother because that would just be another waste. I was up there last year, um, yeah, about this time last year, and it was just horrendous. Then down along here, you can just about in the distance see Massantampan. I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, Massantampan, way off in the distance where I was last week, so might give an idea of where we are today. You've got Knocknabinog, Knapon Moor and Knockmile Moor and then the rest of it is just being washed out by the, the cloud. But um, yeah, it's a uh, pretty good views. Oh, and over this way you have Imla, I think is the name of it, Moor and Lower. And then in the cloud over there you have um, Caraconry and Bortragam. Again, glad I didn't go up that high. So, and of course, um, geez, I suppose I better show the other view. Um, this way, Inch Beach. I'm not going to go out and open, I'm going to get blown around with the wind, but um, yeah, that's Inch Beach down there. And across the other way, then, is the Ivory Peninsula. So it's pretty cool because it's only 374 meters high, but the, the views are pretty cool again, you know. This bit was uh, really awkward to get over. It's um, it's a high enough fence. I don't know if I don't know if there's another way around it or not. So uh, coming down, the last bit there after the fence was just brutal. Briars, wires, bog. I think I went off track of it, but thankfully the guy in the house near it saw me struggling through the. I don't know, just through the brush and he came out and he uh, let me go through his, his garden to get out into the road. I would never go into someone's place like that without permission, so. But um, yeah, if you ever does see this, thanks very much. <laughs> it just made my day a hell of a lot easier. And we're back on a bit of the Dingle Way now. Going doing Knockfee Hand, I think is the name of it. 
it's a small peak just from the west of Brittany so um, we'll do that hopefully it won't be as <laughs> brutal as the end of that but we we'll keep going anyway it's nice to have a signpost um, after the experience for the last half an hour um, this one is going up Knock Afihan and Brackloon and then if you look at the sign it says Mealing Hill <laughs> I'm not sure what's what but uh, we'll make a track there's a style here so. Dingleway now heading back towards Inch Beach for a parked up. So the climbing is done for the day and it looks like it'll just be downhill now for the rest of it, hopefully. Um, it's, it's a nice walk. Sleeping inside the wind tunnel again today, which is carry so um, to knock if you can was a quick trip up. Grand good views from there. Nice um, nice kind of cairn at the top. Ooh. And um, yeah, so that's nice. I didn't do Meeting Hill or Brack Loon or any of them because I was like, nah, I'm done. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just a walk back now to, like I said a minute ago, to the car park. And I'm presuming we're going to finish with a picture of the beach. So, um, if, you, um, if you did watch this, if you might hit the, the thumbs up. I'm not sure it'll do anything to my channel, but just to. Uh, Seemingly that's what people say. If you want to see more of this stuff, uh, you might subscribe. Yeah. So um, with that, we'll see you in the next one, whenever the weather allows.